It's a summer day at Stewart's Bay, a small fishing village. David Banner stands at the end of a dock, breathing fresh sea air. Morning. Great day. Let's hope it holds. Going out? Yeah, that's my baby, Bosun 3. Nice boat. You new around here? Yes. Working? Not yet, I... Uh... Good. Huh? My second mate's laid up in the hospital. Why don't you sign on for a couple of weeks? Well, I don't know very much about fishing. You got muscle, you can haul a net, crank a winch. Oh, sure, but I... Okay, uh... that's all that's needed. My name's Steve Jager. David Benson. Come aboard. This is my first mate. Hi. A pleasure, uh, Ms. Uh... Mrs. I'm Judy Jager. How do you want your eggs? Once over or sunny side? Oh, any way at all. Once over and three for me. Come on, Dave, I'll show you around. We'll be drawing up our nets later on. This winch... How's the fishing been on the whole? Not too good. Between the foreign fleets and the pollution, I think Stewart's Bay has added. But the new 200-mile limit should... <laughs> Don't believe everything you read, Dave. They're still coming in. Well, that's poaching. That's what they call it. The pollution's worse, though. Plus a few other things. What? Stick around for a while. You'll find out. Those are the nets up ahead. Oh, my God. The lines have been cut. It's him again, Steve. This is it, Judy. I'm going to beat his brains in. What good would that do? Anyway, you might get your own beat in first. He's a lot bigger than you. What we need is proof, evidence, something to take him to court on. What's this all about? Who, who cut your nets? Jack Mayo. Mayo? We'll tell you all about it later. The catch is gone. Might as well head in. <laughs> That chance. When I married Steve, Mayo started carrying the torch. It turned into a blazing fire. You think he's responsible for the nets? More than that. Poaching our catch, cutting across our lines when we trawl, sabotaging our engine at night. But you can't prove it. Not the sneaky stuff. And when he cuts over our lines, he laughs and says it was an accident. Look, it's Mayo. Watch it, Steve. He's trying to swamp us. He almost did it. Another few feet and we'd be over. <coughs> Likeable sort, isn't he? Is that his boat? Yellowtail. Fastest sports fisherman in the harbor. He owns it with Freddie Fuller. Judy, this is it. I'm going to beat up on that guy. Over my dead body, you will. You think I want a dead husband? Later, at the dock. Dave, you seen Steve? No. I can't find him any place. I just hope he didn't lose his head and go after Jack Mayo. Where would he look for Mayo? He hangs out at the sea shanty. I'll check it out. How do it be? Uh, just a coat, please. Uh, has uh, Steve Jager been here? Haven't seen him. Who's looking for him? I am. Who's you? The name's Benson. And uh, you're Mayo. He knows my name, Freddy. I've seen him before. Yeah. Ain't we seen you before? Earlier today, I was aboard Bosun 3 when you tried to swamp us. <laughs> Listen to that, Freddy. Swamp him. I don't think it's very funny, Mayo. I do. <laughs> it was an accident, Benson. Yeah, yeah, an accident. <laughs> like the net lines. What net lines? You cut them. Can you prove it? No, but... You're looking to fight, mister. Take it easy, Jack. Yeah, why don't you cool it, Mayo? Lay off on Steve and Judy. They're just trying to make a living just like you. You lost the girl, take it like a man. You are Did looking it? for a fight, ain't you? I told you no, I don't want to fight. And I don't lose my temper easily. I'm only I do! I lose my temper when somebody tells me what to do, how to live. Nobody minds my business but myself. Cool it, will you, Jack? There's people in Shut here. up! You get out of here, Benson. Do what he says, will you? I can see I'm not welcome. No, you ain't. And one more thing, Benson. If I ever see you again, I'll make sure your flag flies at half-mast. I can't figure out what's wrong with him. More Jack Mayo's work, if you ask me. Well, the alarm was set last night. He knows how to get around the ship's alarm. Why don't we leave it for a while, Steve? I'm starved. Okay. 
Want to join us at the diner, Dave? Well, no, thanks. I'd uh, like to monkey with the engine for a while. I, I think the timing's off. Think you can fix it? Well, I'm pretty good with mechanical things. Okay, join us later. Fine. Now, uh, listen, uh, can I take her out for a test run? It might also be the fuel line. Can you cast off and dock her alone? Sure. Okay, you get your sea legs. Come on, Judy. Sounds okay so far. Maybe it... What now? It's gotta be the fuel line. It's gotta be. Boat coming this way. Uh-oh. It's Mayo. How you doing, Olsen? <laughs> he almost swamped me. Mayo! sinks into the blue-green depths. His features contort, change, take on the aspect of utter fury and rage. His muscles bulge, his chest expands, his sinews contract in a great effort, and he zooms to the surface like a great angry shark, exploding into the air in a burst of wrath and vengeance. What the devil's that? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Knifing through the water like some great monster from the deep, the raging giant swims toward Yellowtail. Fuller, get the shark rifle! I can't find it! Well, look under the forward hatch and hurry up! I don't know what this thing is, but we gotta kill it! The screaming thing comes nearer, eyes full of fury, hate in its soul. The Hulk! Whoa! Coming up from beneath Yellowtail's hull, the Hulk tears at the wood plank, lifts the keel, and then hurls it into the air. Turning, the Hulk sinks into the sea, where in the silent depths he again becomes David Banner, man of no memory, unaware, unknowing of what he has done. Slowly, Banner rises to the surface and swims to the Bosun Three. What did they say it was? Some kind of sea monster. <laughs> Imagine that. The Stewart's Bay monster, like Loch Ness, huh? If you ask me, both Mayo and Fuller were seeing things. Maybe, but they're both changed men. I can swear to that. Meek. I never saw two guys so meek. Maybe there is a monster out there. There are monsters everywhere. Monsters of the soul. Huh? Nothing. Just, just a thought. 